Praise the Lord. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Clinton. To those of you who are in Christ Jesus, I am Brother Clinton. And you are on the Word Prophet channel. This is a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people in the churches of God so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, as Jesus Christ commanded. I say that in most of the videos on this channel. That's what the purpose of this channel is. And many times I've said that's why I'm here, and I hope that's why you're here as well. However, in this particular case, I hope that even if you're not a Christian, you are able to hear this message. And even if you don't personally hear this message, it is sent to you anyway, because it is sent all throughout the world, even as the scroll that we see in the fifth chapter of Zechariah. This is a message to the sinners of North America, the United States of America, specifically speaking, which I many times have called the USSA, or the United Socialist States of America. For a little over 10 years, I have been on YouTube doing this work that I do for the Lord Jesus Christ and letting you all know the things that we must do according to the Word of God for us to be right with God, for us to be saved from our sins, and for us to serve God in spirit and in truth. And many times I have said that the judgment that came upon the United States in 2001 is nothing compared to the judgment that is still coming to the United States of America. And I have said many times that that which is coming to the USSA is going to make 9-11 look like a liquor store robbery. And, um, and, and I don't mean that to be tongue-in-cheek or sarcastic at all. And I've said that for about 10 years. Just like Jeremiah preached for 40 years to the people of Israel, and he kept telling them that the king of ne uh, Babylon was going to come and raise their temple to the ground and burn their houses and kill a lot of them and take the rest of them into captivity, naked in chains through the desert from Israel into Babylon. And they wouldn't believe him, and they kept saying all that time, you know, Jeremiah, it's been 10 years, it's been 20 years, it's been 30 years, Jeremiah. Where's the king of Babylon? I don't see him. And they all mocked Jeremiah, and um, they thought that, you know, his words were not to be regarded. But the time came, as Jeremiah kept saying from the Lord, that Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, came and destroyed the city of Jerusalem, burned the temple to the ground, took the treasures out of the temple, burned the houses, killed a lot of the people, and took the rest of the people in chains across the desert from Israel to Babylon. That's a very long walk. And so I and a few others like me have been letting the people of the United States of America know that their judgment is nigh at hand. And instead of turning from their sins, the, the people of the, you, the people of the United States of America, have literally begged the living God to destroy you. You have shaken your fists at the living God. You have tempted him. You have blasphemed his name. You have kicked him out of your churches. You have kicked him out of your schools. You have kicked him out of your houses. You've kicked him out of your lives. And you have imagined that if you imagine a different God the way that you want your God to be, that the real living God will just go away. Or you have imagined that if you choose not to believe in him, that he'll just go away. You have imagined that if you just close your eyes, nobody can see you. You, see, you cower in the corner in your delusion, and you say, if I close my eyes, nobody can see me, and you pretend to be an atheist. But you're not an atheist. You're a person who denies the reality of the fact that God is going to judge you for your sins. And instead of running to him by his son, Jesus Christ, and being saved from your sins, you have chosen to beg him to destroy you. And you have gathered in the streets and you have demanded slavery. And you have demanded decimation. You have demanded that the living God of heaven reach down from heaven and crush you with his fist. You have for 40 years plus been killing your own children, murdering your own children, and paying doctors to do so. You have embraced sodomy and gender confusion and witchcraft and sorcery and idolatry and adultery and fornication and thievery and murder and everything that the Almighty God of Heaven has commanded you to abstain from to save your lives. But you have not wanted your lives to be saved, people of North America, people of the United so Social Estates of America. You have wanted to invent gods that don't exist to appease your sinful lifestyles. 
and you have wanted to pretend that you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ because of the false religions that you that you embrace when you go to your false churches and that's where the judgment of God is going to begin. The people in the United States of America, the churches in the United States of America have completely rejected God, have completely turned their backs on God. Instead of the people praying and seeking God and praying for leaders who are true Christians who will seek God and lead them and be pastors unto them, they have gone to people who have graduated from seminaries who are Jesuit trained to deceive them with lies and to cause them to think that they're saved from their sins without obeying the gospel of Jesus Christ. To cause them to think that they're saved from their sins while they're still living in their sins. Divorcing their wives and husbands and marrying other people's wives and husbands. And living in covetousness and greed and lasciviousness and accepting the sodomite agenda and calling them gay and LGBTQWP or N or whatever it is that they want to add on to their little sick agenda now. And embracing them as if they had the right to flaunt that perversion in public. And embracing men that pretend to be women and women that pretend to be men. And calling men with female personal pronouns and women by male personal pronouns and, and giving in to the psychotic agenda of mentally ill people who have embraced the darkness and, and, and have rejected the truth of God's word. And so they've been turned over to a reprobate mind and given over to vile desires. And you, the people of the United States of America, have embraced them. And you have said, oh, they have the right to pretend that they're the opposite gender or to make up a gender that doesn't exist. And who are we to impede them from doing so? And you have embraced the system of government that has successively enslaved you for decades. And you have marched in the streets, people of America. You have marched in the streets and demanded your own enslavement. You have demanded your own enslavement. You have accepted the deception that has been given to you by your owners in spite of the fact that the Word of God has been being preached to you every day, not only on this channel, but on other channels as well, on YouTube and all over the place. And this Bible that I hold in my hand is available to you pretty much anywhere in the world. For sure, any, in any city in the United States, you can buy one of these. And if you can't even afford to buy one, there's someone nearby who will donate one to you. But in spite of the fact that the Word of God has been all around you and preached in your hearing for all these years, you have begged the living God, yea, demanded that the living God destroy you. And now, the people of the United States of America and especially you, the pretend Christians in the U.S. of A., who know nothing but theology. And you're worshiping false gods that don't exist, and you pretend that you're saved from your sins while you still live in your sins. And you've never obeyed the gospel of Christ. And you tell people that you're a Christian and that there is no gospel to obey. And you add words to my Father's holy word and tell people that, they're, that you're saved by grace alone through faith alone, and, and that you have eternal security and all that foolishness and nonsense. Now, now, that which you have begged God for is upon you, and you will not escape. Amen.